Hi, this is Mrs. Wiederholt, and welcome to my review on rounding decimals. Now let's get started. Before learning how to round decimal numbers, we need to understand place value. So let's look at the number 21.3825. To the left of the decimal, the 1 is in the 1's place, and the 2 is in the 10's place. Now let's look at the numbers on the right side of the decimal. The 3 would be called the tenths place. The 8 is the one hundredths place. The 2 is the thousandths place. And the 5 is the ten thousandths place. Now anytime you want to round a number to a specific place, you will always have to look to the number or to the dig digit to the right of that place. So here's the example. If we want to round this number to the nearest tenth, that means I have to look one digit to the right of the tenth. So I look at it and you ask yourself, is this number five or greater? And yes, eight is five or greater. So that means this number would round to 21.4. So again, if the number to the right of the place that you're rounding to is 5 or greater, then the number that you're actually rounding would have to round up. Now let's look and see what if we wanted to round this number to the nearest hundredth. Well, that means we're looking at this number, and if I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth, I have to go one to the right and see is this number 2, 5, or greater? No, it's not. It is less than 5. So that means this number, 8, stays the same. That would be rounding down. And it would look like this, 21.38. So now let's look at rounding to the nearest thousandth. Now sometimes you might see that referred to as rounding to three decimal places. But it's really good if you understand that rounding to three decimal places is rounding to the nearest thousandth. Well, that means I'm going to have to look at the number to the right of it. It's a 5. Is 5 5 or greater? Yes, it is. So that means this number 2 has to round up, and it rounds up to a 3. So it would look like this, 21.383. Now this has been just a really quick tutorial to help you brush up on your rounding skills. So I hope this video has helped and I look forward to working with you again. Bye bye.